To speak, I no doubt ought. I missed you a lot. Counting days I was, I speak with a pause. I am chuffed since the arrival of my prince. It's completely true. I am as happy as you. If not more so, I will have you know. I just do not want my emotions to flaunt. Like people some, I speak in a manner glum. Umbrage I take, make no mistake. And I disagree completely, I say very sweetly. I speak in a manner rather mild. You have lots of names for your child. Ponsling Jones is one, says this loving mum. Names you have given him many, for your thoughts a penny. If that of emotion isn't a show, I'll have you know, I don't know what is, I will definitely say this. A different set of rules applies to me, I can very clearly see. Offence I take rather, do tell your father. Tell him yourself, into the matter delve. To the subject to come, my baby, my chum. You will no doubt find, I have the word briefly in mind. The word is an adverb. It is used in ways too that is completely true. For explanation, we produce the thirst. Let us discuss you the first. Henry paused briefly, explain, in a manner somewhat plain. Momentarily, for a moment, here is no doubt meant. Fleetingly is word another, I sincerely believe, mother. We come to use too, it is true. Briefly, the plot is as follows. This everyone no doubt knows. But do explain in a manner plain. To speak, I no doubt ought, in brief, in short, it means, that is what it seems. To speak, I no doubt ought, to cut a long story short. Is description another, I sincerely believe, mother. Let me explain this really well, in a word, in some, in a nutshell. Are descriptions three other, I sincerely believe, mother. I speak with pleasure immense, in essence. Is one description I must mention.